things away from anarchy. It's kind of dark out. I do think that spite of the light, spite of the light. This is a rough draft, but fuck it, the time goes by. If we don't stop them, you can pick your last three meals. So why are you bringing it to me? I need concrete evidence bias and responsible for all this. Who slashed this meat? Is that lab meat that you used yesterday for testing on y'all? He will not eat McDonald's meat. And that's a dog. And he loves meat and cheese. Instead, he just nibbles and plays with it like a toy. Is that tomato? No, it's ketchup. That's like a biscuit. Lab-grown meat will soon be on the shelves of this grocery store and almost every other grocery store in the United States. Two companies have now been approved by the FDA to make lab-grown meat and sell it to you and your family, and production has already begun. I approved for the travesty waiting to happen. Lab-grown meat is not real meat. It's made in cell culture in a lab. It's almost certainly going to cause health issues for humans, autoimmune issues, damage to the gut, all sorts of problems can arise from meat grown in a petri dish. It's going to have an inferior nutrient profile to meat from a cow that has grown eating grass in nature, and it's worse for the environment. Multiple studies have now shown that lab-grown meat is significantly harsher and more damaging to the environment in terms of total carbon footprint and energy costs. So why in the world would you eat lab -grown grown meat when you could just eat can now tell if labs have made your food somewhere. at walmart by putting a magnet on them watch so guys been seeing all these online videos they going in about the, this meat uh, stuff y'all thing to happen lab grown meat is not real meat it's made in cell culture in a lab it's almost certainly going to cause health issues for humans autoimmune issues damage to the gut all sorts of problems can arise from meat grown in a petri dish it's going to have an inferior nutrient profile to meat from a cow that has grown eating grass in nature and it's worse for the environment multiple studies have now shown that lab grown meat is significantly harsher and more damaging to the environment in terms of total carbon footprint and energy costs so why in the world would you eat lab grown meat when you could just eat you can now tell if labs have made your food somewhere. at walmart by putting a magnet on them watch so guys been seeing all these online videos they going in about this meat stuff y'all lab grown stuff she in walmart Put magnet. Alright, uh, she's putting the magnet on there right there. Um, yeah. Oh, what? That means it's that means it's grown in a farm or a lab? Disgusting. People are eating this here. Oh, that's so nasty. So she puts a magnet on the chicken, okay? And then she tries to get that magnet to fall off the chicken. And it stayed okay? on. Now, a lot of people are saying that this is fake and that there's a magnet on the other side of the chicken. It'd have to be a very powerful magnet to hold onto that magnet through some chicken. But others are thinking that this is real. Is this real? Do, is our chicken magnetic? Let's try it. Because it's got our DNA stuff in it and they're, they're trying to take us out through the chicken? What do you guys think about the situation? And I actually think about bringing a magnet with me every time I go <laughs> buy me some chicken. Tag all your friends and see what they think about this chicken magnet thing. Bias. Same bias made this. I mean, it would not shock me that they want to control the world's food supply. Not before a few million stars. It's kind of dark out. I do think that spider the light, spider the light. light. This is a rough draft, but fuck it, the time it goes by. Check this out right here. Check out these lines. It ain't that funny. The whole sky is nothing but lines. Y'all can't tell me this thing ain't breaking down. <laughs> Fake sky. Do you call that a chemtrail? Cause I can't tell. Very interesting, isn't it?